What makes me get up in the morning is the idea that I never know what I'm going to find or explore and discover in a day. There's a, a really nice uh, rhythm and tempo to what I do and I like the ability to always have sort of a, something different to discover every day. What was it like to attend the college when you were a student here? I remember it very fondly. The lab that I was part of was um, a great group of like-minded people who are all interested in learning uh, new techniques and technologies and helping each other out. We all really learned to work together. We learned from each other. Um, and I always just remember that fondly. You know, I'm friends with many of them to this day. And so professionally and personally, we were able to build uh, really great bonds over that time. One of my experiences through the University of Delaware and through Dr. Trimbanis' lab was to be able to go on the EV Nautilus, which is the ship that I currently work for. I spent about a month at sea in the Mediterranean um, looking for shipwrecks and also studying the deep sea geology. So kind of applying a lot of the uh, skills I learned in Dr. Trimbanis' lab and in the classroom to a real field experience. I have honestly loved every minute of my time here in Delaware. Um, honestly, I have found the community so welcoming and so helpful. I have always have people offering to help with research, so I guess not much has changed in that regard, for sure. <laughs> Being part of a family, helping each other, and also um, pushing each other to learn more, that was really critical to my group as a student there. The ability to learn new technologies was something that um, was unique to my experience at the University of Delaware. I came from a background that was much more um, sort of simple research tools focused and was able to use these cutting edge technologies and learn how to apply them to actually uh, realize real scientific results. And I thought that that was really important to the career that I have now where I'm always trying to find new uh, techniques or tools to build into our research programs. There's so much to know about the ocean still, so much that we don't know. There's still a, about 80% of the ocean that remains uh, to be mapped, and there's about 90% that is completely unexplored. As a student at uh, College of Earth and Ocean Sciences, it's just important to know that there's a lot left to do and that you have an important role to play in that future.